Yo. Yo, yo, yo. We ain't getting in trouble on goddamn YouTube today. Fuck that. We done talked a lot of shit about this. Hey yo, we about to get into some most depth shit. But before we get into this most depth shit, got a motherfucking special, special guest in the fucking building. Fuck that ass about ran out of breath. <laughs> hey, say something, say something. Hello, world. <laughs> Mic check. Hey, turn me up. Yo, 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 yo. Mic check, mic check. Like I said, man, I got a special guest in the building. My man Mario in the building. Hey, yo, what do you want to go by, man? I know you bought so many names. Hey, look, man, just, just call me Mario, man. Hey, yeah, about yeah. fucking time. Because yeah. I remember the time, like, hey, yo, Mario. Hey, bro, don't call me Mario. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Martian. <laughs> you know, Apollo. Stony. <laughs> All of the above. Go Toes in the building? Go Toes. <laughs> Go Toes. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, but look, like, Yo, wait, yeah. wait, nigga, did you say gold toes? <laughs> gold toes. <laughs> I'm going to break the story down for y'all. Yo, got my man Mario in the building, Poe in the background. Bo, let him hear something. I was trying to figure out this, this, this name situation. Hey, man, <laughs> I was too. So, man, um, goddamn, I feel like it's a loud-ass echo, right? A little bit. Break it down a little bit. How you feeling about that? Yo, yo. Sounds great. All right, bet. Um... Shit. Mario in the motherfucking building, man. I ain't gonna lie, I thought you were gonna flake on me. Hey look, you know, you know, man, I'll be moving around, but I had to I had to go ahead and take that leap, bro. Hey, it's been a long time. Like I know you've been like, yo, B, let me Let me get up there, but look. <laughs> hey, we on the best podcast in the no, tri state. No matter of fact, East Coast. Hey. No, hold on. We gotta manifest worldwide, baby. We here. Worldwide. We working, bro. I'm telling you. They, yo, they don't really know how much work we putting in over here. They don't know everything that I'm just trying to do. I don't even fucking know. Right. But it's been done. And I'm appreciating the love out there and everything. I'm, I'm appreciating everything. We got to get some more fucking subscribers, god damn it. Hey. Click that button. Hold on, where is it? Right here? I don't know. We don't have a button. <laughs> <laughs> Click that bell. Hey. When this get to YouTube, the bell, I think it's like a right, right around here just... Hey man, click the motherfucking yeah, button. Mario yeah. said, "Click the goddamn." Hey, push the goddamn button. <laughs> push it. Hey, um, man, I just man, yo, it's crazy, man. Um, it's crazy that me inviting you here. I, I I couldn't really put my finger on how I wanted to do this because you're such a fucking character, man. You you've always like just kept a smile on my face. Pause. Like, like this nigga has just always been funny. I've never had a beef or words with this nigga, and we go back since high school. Um, all the way. Always been like just the coolest motherfucker. Um, anyways, I don't know where to fucking start. I'm like, like tripping. Um, tell you the truth, bro. For real, for real. I just want to say one. All right, so look, we on the bullshit, right? But we ain't on the bullshit. But we own the bullshit. On that bullshit. D A T. On that. Yeah. On that bullshit. On that bullshit. But we ain't on the bullshit. Oh, hey. We on that straight, straight that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit, man. man. Anyway. All the way in. All right. We in here. That's where I'm going to start. The funny thing is that there was a nigga that was. Not a weirdo to me. Y'all know I like to use that word for certain rappers. But he wasn't a weirdo to me, but he liked weirdo rappers. And he was just a clown. He was just funny. He was just cool as fuck. And that's the guy right beside me, man. For real, for real. And I say all that to say that I remember he was rapping and just trying to find himself and whatever it is. And me, of course, I knew whatever the fuck it was that he was going to do, it was going to be great. Um, but as his friend, as his guy, he would tell you, I've always been a fucking hater. <laughs> All the way, bro. <laughs> the G-Hold is in the building. Hey, <coughs> hey, look, hey, 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 
Hey, this is the player haters ball, man. <laughs> we, we, we done switched it up, man. Hey, 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 hey. We already hey, know. Hey, 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 yo, you're funny. <laughs> you already know, man. Look. Hey, look, I used to tell this dude, I'm like, yo, bro, you going in, bro. He came in and he literally was like, yo, I'm about to be a rapper. I'm about to get signed as down the third. And everybody like, oh shit, fucking with him. Me, I've just always been a realist. I'm like, man, Mario, man, shut that shit up, man. Who the fuck you on now? Um, and at this point in time, I'm gonna see if you remember the story. This is when you came up with Go Toes. Go Toes. Go Toes. Go Toes. Yeah. <laughs> you know so, I mean? do you even remember what Go Toes stand for? Hey, look, man, look, I made that shit up. That shit stand for. Guys on that other shit. <laughs> that's what we we was on that other shit. <laughs> we, so hey, allergic to the regular shit. Hey, man. So so with all that being said, I looked at his little logo and everything. I'm just like, yo, what the fuck is this, man? This I shit mean, sound like some a nigga catch it. It sound like an STD. Hey, look. And he was like, he like, yo, I don't know if you remember, but I remember that shit like it was yesterday. This motherfucker had a plain blank on his face, like, you know what? Press your fucking hater, man. You hate on everything. You hate everything. And then he came back. He was like, you know what? You such a hater. You should start your own blog. And this was shit, 2000. Shit was light years ago. Nine, maybe 10. Yeah, 10. 2010. He was like, you. It was a minute. He was just like, man, you're a fucking hater. You should start your own goddamn blog. And that was the first person that ever brought that energy to me. And he was like, nigga, you funny, nigga, you a hater, and you just talk shit. And that always stuck with me. And that's why I'm here now. So it is a, it's, it's a blessing, it's, it's a plan, and it's great to have this man beside me today, man. I appreciate it. Hey, man. Y'all got that round of applause. Y'all got to... <laughs> Y'all gotta drop that in the editing, man. You know, hey, man. Round of applause, man. No, no, no. We on that bullshit. So we our shit, our shit, low key trash. We like, like, <laughs> we got, we <laughs> got the cred credentials. Hey, look, he man. low key trash. We don't edit no more. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Straight raw, baby. Straight raw. You Straight fuck raw. up, fuck yeah. it. We Straight on that bullshit. Raw, With that being said, if you listening, watching, go to YouTube, type in Inner Visions. Oh yeah. Join set of press with the episode four. That same story he just said, he go into detail about how you told him to do the podcast. Exactly. Oh, yeah. This is the nigga that, yes, I forgot. Hey, we here, baby. This is the nigga that just, man. This the one, man. It's you. Real life. It's you. Real life. And I appreciate it. But, uh, fuck it, man. I ain't got shit else to say. Uh, let's get into the bullshit. Nah, for real. Can you pass the hoop? Oh, God <laughs> damn. <laughs> God damn. Speaking of, speaking of weirdo rappers and stuff, everybody... I always say, uh, you know what I'm saying, weirdo rappers, but one person I just, I don't know, it's been on my heart for like the past week, man. It's the GOAT, man. My boy Young Thug, man. <laughs> the fucking GOAT, man. I fucking hate this nigga. Every time I he hear this nigga. He just talking about Fat Little B. I thought your ass was going to say Little B. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Little wait, B. talk about, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, let man, me, let me run it down. Wait, let oh, me run it down. Goodness. Because, like I said, this guy was a fan of just shit that I didn't fuck with. And I just called all these guys that y'all know that I talk about, and I just call them weirdo rappers, which one of them we gonna get into uh, right after this little story or whatever. But Little B was your guy. Little B is the GOAT. Little B, yeah. okay, talk about you had Little B. Little B. You had, you had Soldier Boy. So, Soldier, uh, you, uh, you <laughs> see Soldier. You see Big Soldier, man, this Draco, man. Hey, look, bro. hey, look. <laughs> Hey, look, I'm telling y'all, this nigga is funny. Soldier Boy, bro, Lil B, you know. Tyler the Creator. He died. Okay, okay, okay. It wasn't you that was a big fan of Tyler the Creator. Nah, nah, it nah. was, it was, you remember your boy Avon? Avon, yeah. Speaking of Avon. That nigga was also, can you, like, please tell me you've seen this nigga. Bro. It's, it, yeah, it's, it's hard, bro. It's, it hurts. It does hurt. It's That's just like, nigga. how am I, nigga? That's my nigga, bro. In fact, so. Facts, so damn, right? Damn, it's, it's crazy. I know the story. Yeah, it's crazy. That was my nigga, bro. I fuck with Avon. I fuck with man. Him. Whatever that nigga got going on, man. Somebody send this shit to Avon, bro. I know for real, man. Like pray for that, bro. 
You know what I mean? Praying for bro, bro. Yeah, I, I, I think he, I think he was good when he did this shit. I don't know what happened. Brainwash is a serious thing. It is though, bro. I'm trying to brainwash niggas to be on this bullshit. No, I don't like, know what y'all talking about. Is listening. Uh huh. The whole little shit y'all just did. Don't know nobody know what so, y'all so talking about. So you want to break it down? Break it down. So. <laughs> <laughs> From the outside, I mean, you know, I don't know the. This is the public fucking this, this public fucking, information. This public public information. So we ain't snitching. Think, think something was like he was going into ISIS or something like trying to trying to go fight for ISIS, bro. He had a homie and, that was was like pretty that. much persuading yeah. him to join ISIS, where he changed his name to like Sir Akamog mm. or some shit, and he went to the airport. With guns and ain't no telling what that nigga was gonna do. Ain't no telling what them niggas was gonna do. But we know Avon, and we know that nigga was a cool ass nigga. He was cool, bro. That nigga will fight he for was, you. He be on that karate shit. That nigga was that nigga. He was he was on that goto shit. Other <laughs> shit for real, boy. I'm sorry. He's I might have shit. to name this episode fucking goto. Goto's in the building. I, hey, look, I'm about to give me. I, I remember when I drew that shit up, had a little moon with the damn, they had a the little planet with the damn ring around it. I would want to get that shit to change so bad, bro. I'm glad you did. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was going to have a pink diamond. Said, nah, let me see bro. Um, Tiger was your nigga, too. Tiger Woods, all the way. Okay. Um, damn, you kind of fucked me up when you Niggas said Niggas talking about Big Draco had the best comeback. Tiger Woods had the best comeback. <laughs> the best comeback. My nigga came back with a bitches, got him another title. It's lit, boy. Man, fuck Tiger Woods. That nigga don't fuck with us. Nah, nah. I fuck with bro. He, 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 he you fuck with I him. He don't fuck bro. with you. I fuck with bro. But look, bro don't fuck with nobody black, bro. I was all like, them hoes <laughs> he was hitting on. None of them black. It's, it's all that good, nigga man. was swinging for the fences and never even jumped the fence. It's all good, man. Hey, look, we ain't discriminating out here. We that nigga like, is. He don't fuck with niggas. <laughs> What do you mean? I wish a Tiger Woods. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger, Tiger Woods the goat, bro. Man, I had that. I had that damn uh, Tiger the damn '99 shit on PlayStation, bro. Nigga, I had you played that, fucking golf. golf? Yes, bro. Bro. That shit was lit, bro. The fucking weird. So <laughs> I'm sorry, yo. Hey, I'm a nigga in the building. Hey, I think golf is born in real life. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes, my nigga. <laughs> like, yo, I hope you listen to music playing that shit. I'm saying, but look, you gotta look at. Do it. they play music in the background of that shit? You nah, know, like, nah, nah, like nah, you nah, nah. in your play. Nah, <laughs> see, see the thing is with golf, you gotta think about it, man. Golf is a is a you a businessman, y'all businessman. Time out. Hold on, hold on, this y'all. nigga bias his shit. Hey, look, you got your golf pants on. Oh, got the look. Yeah, okay. You already know. Hey. And it's a golf visor on. too, but it ain't got my logo on it, you so I got to turn it to the back. I fuck with it. You I know. fuck with it heavy. I'll buy the client you on some low-key shit, but you been golfing lately. I've been seeing you. No, tennis. you been playing tennis. tennis. Yeah, you know, I'm about to win this tournament, man. Get this three bands real quick, you know. You, you still got that speed? This motherfucker, I play football with this nigga too, man. This motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> he threw a half-back pass. She was a touchdown. Shit. That nigga's never going to let that out of his fucking, like, Ever, his bro. fucking... <laughs> Shit was like the longest touchdown pass in history. <laughs> yeah. so, like, I remember... I remember when we watched the tape, right? We were, the shit went off the screen, bro. <laughs> that shit was a bomb. Yo, I, I you see, see my nigga Aaron catching that shit. Shout out my nigga Wake, man. Shout hey, out yo. my nigga Wake. My nigga it up. Wait. Hey, yo, this nigga was in the new newspaper. Like this. like this, bro. Caught oh it. Oh my god, yo. My dad got that job, blew that This nigga out. act like he won a goddamn Super Bowl. <laughs> nah, for real. Hey, but look, back to the golf shit though. Like, that's <coughs> a, that, that, it's a business sport, bro. You a businessman, you a businessman. That's a business sport, bro. But niggas be getting fucked up. I didn't know that. You know what I mean? They be getting fucked up while they play golf. Yeah, Tiger Woods hurt his fucking back, old ass nigga. Yeah. Sit his ass down. I know, bro. What well, fuck a black bitch. Hey, but look, <laughs> he, he had the biggest comeback though. He ain't got another title, man. Man, Trent Press had the biggest comeback. Flat Trent Setter, Trent Setter, Trent Setter been on top, bro. Ah, Trent Setter been on let's top. Let's get into bro. the bullshit. Right, let's get into um, it. fucking uh, Poe is here. Last week we talked about. Well, I talked. Goddamn, nigga, you gotta crawl before you walk. Slow down. Oh, that's my new bitch too. Um, to. What was I saying? Poe. Oh, last week, Poe ended up hitting the road 
we was here conversing where I was conversing about albums and Poe actually hit the road. How was your road trip? It was good, man. I didn't get no traffic. I had a good time with the fam up in Philly, you know what I'm saying? It was good. That's good. On your way there, you listened to a few albums that I recommended. Yeah. Uh, um, which album do you want to start with first? The, or which one was your favorite? I guess we'll do it like that. The one my favorite? Um, might be the Beast Coast. I like the way you started, my friend. Hey, yo, B Beast Coast. Um, you definitely put me onto the Beast Coast joint. Uh, I've always been a fan of uh, Joey Badass. Yeah. Um, Joey Badass is just dope. Um, I was telling you behind the scenes that uh, I definitely fuck with uh, Joey Badass. And hearing this album just made me want more Joey Badass. I wasn't big on Rat Pack. I wasn't big on uh, the, the uh, what, what's the nigga's name? The zombie niggas? Uh, what's their name? The Flatwood Zombies. Flat. I wasn't big on them, and it was one more group. Uh, underachievers. And I wasn't Dude, big. Rap on... Pack had shit to do with shit. <laughs> Damn, I did say Rap Pack. <laughs> Yo, that's that logic <laughs> shit in me. Um, what's they what's they what's they rap name? Uh, fucking uh. Pro Era. Pro Era. Yeah, my bad. I apologize. Hey, <laughs> I'm always sometimes right. Play this fuck up. Um, anywho, since motherfuckers want to correct me, uh, me personally, I felt like. It was a dope group album from several different niggas, man. I felt that shit was fire. I like the uh I like the production. Certain artists, I I like the fact that they didn't sound like they stood out. Like you knew who was rapping. Uh I posted up right before the album dropped. I think I posted it up even Wednesday or Thursday, the album came out Friday. I ended up dropping it, well, posting it. And it was the cipher with Big Tigger. Hello. And I was just paying attention to everybody that like faces. Um, I don't know their names, but I knew each rapper that was rapping at the time. Maybe got confused with one or two. Especially the white dude from uh, uh, Pro Air. Nick Caution. Um, he doesn't sound white. He also he said in, in the cipher though. He was like, why every fucking white rapper got a rap fast? And he was like super swagged out with it. Exactly. And I, I I enjoyed that. I like I liked it. The uh, Flatbush Zombie dude, uh, which one is that that I was telling you about? The guy with the... the I, know, I, know, I know it's Phil, I can't think of his name. Um, the nigga with the dreads, they look like Bob Marley. Yeah, the real skinny, dark skinned nigga with the dreads. Yeah, dress. anyways. His, his voice is very distinct. And I like that. That's one thing that I like about a lot of artists that I fuck with. Like Kendrick, you hear Kendrick, you know he coming on. You hear YG, you know he coming on. 400! Um, oh, man. Damn. Hey yo, chill out, chill out. We gonna get to that. Cause um, I, 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 I'm gonna say, um, I really like the album because for an album full of what about ten niggas, nine ten niggas, nine niggas. I think it's nine. Yeah, for them to make songs, you got you got nine lyricists. Which you like in my mind, I'm like yo, these niggas about to make. But all nine of them wasn't on each track. Right. right. Okay. Right. All right. I was just making sure because what? I. Skim through the playlist. But they do got some songs that are all on it, yep. and it's still only a three minute song. So I'm like, that is surprising. That is. So I'm like, for, for like, and they're all lyricists, and then to actually have songs that are actual songs, like, you like, you got, you got like, I'm like, I can hear this one actually, maybe in the strip club. I can hear this one, like, well, this, this is a good little vibing song. Even though, like, all these niggas can bar you the fuck up, yeah. they, <laughs> chill, they chilled out for, for some of these actual songs. So I thought that was dope as fuck. The, yeah. the, the Flat Zombie Squad reminds me, and I can't put my finger on it, but it reminds me, and I need to do my, my research, my, my history. And I'm going to be honest. I think you, I don't, I don't know if you they, do. They, not, I'm the not Flatbush Zombies they, only two of them. It's only two? The Flatbush Zombies. Only two? Yes. Well, them niggas sound, well, they they sound like Bone Thugs and Harmony. Because yeah, one of them, is, his name is Zombie Juice. I can't remember the other nigga's name. They sound like fucking... Uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony. When like, they're singing. When they're singing. Because I feel like I, I think they're the <coughs> underachievers. It, I don't know. Yeah. But this shit reminded me of some shit that Bone Thugs and Harmony done back in 97. Or 96. I fucked with it. Uh, people that listen to this all the time know I'm a big Bone Thugs and Harmony fan. And I appreciate it. Uh, what, what was the other album that you was able to listen to? Uh, YG's album. Why, oh, my. Yo, actually, um, 
you said DJ Khaled's album. Cause yeah, we gonna get yeah. the YG. I might have to like like spaz on the nigga tonight. Matter of fact, with DJ Khaled album, like yeah, yeah, can you keep yeah, my phone? Call my phone. Come on, come on, pull up the playlist for me real quick. For yeah, yeah. For, for DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled. John, I listen to I listen to about. Like the top half in the gym. I feel like it's a, it, it, I feel like it's a solid effort, but I got my critiques. Yeah, I, I don't know. It was a little bit. It was a little bit too too laid back. Now I'm gonna tell you this. Me, from my 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 opinion, I've never been a big DJ Khaled guy, just because I don't know what it is about him. Not it's not a I don't like him. It's not a I don't care for him. Right. It's not a I like him. It's just. I'm trying to figure him out. Every time I hear DJ Khaled, I'm trying to figure out, my nigga, what is it? How is it? What it, what he do? Yeah, what? yeah. What is it that he does? I know he produces, but it's like, how do you get all these artists? Not not just, like, are we talking about fucking artists? He, he literally got over 30 features on his album. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that's, how he, that's how he run it, though. Let me run through about how I feel about some of these songs. Um, Holy Mountain, the first one, is cool. Wish Wish, Cardi in 21. I feel like Cardi shouldn't did that hook. I feel like it's too much Cardi. Hey, she, hey, I ain't gonna front. She no, no, no she, I, I feel like she did. No, she's, she's doing her thing. I, I like that, her verse. I felt like, I feel like that, so I felt, it felt like it was too much for me. Right. It also sound with, just like the other shit with her in 21. Any so I feel like somebody, somebody else did the hook, it would have brought something different to it. Pause. Wait before you even get to it, because I got chewed out. I got chewed out because motherfucker said that the scissor joint was actually good, and I told you that. I said on the podcast. Yeah, I said it was no, no, no. It wasn't trash. It just trash. she should not almost have been fell. on that beat. I almost, I just, I, I almost no. fell asleep on the. Stage I'm gonna be honest, bro. To that I did, I, you I, tripping? He said the stairmaster. I just fucking like stairmaster, bro. I, I disagree. I thought I thought I liked it. I felt like for the hook, I wish the the uh, cadence she used for the for the verses, she did a variation of that for the hook because it would have made it catchier. I definitely feel like it should have been a rap feature on it. Though. Something and do you not? That goes back to what I was saying. That if you are gonna do that, at least get yeah, Andre um, three thousand. Oh, um, <coughs> I'm standing by what I said last week. I actually because I said last week I hadn't heard the song yet. Yeah, I do feel like J Cole could have did something on J. it. J Cole. Oh, um, uh, what's your boy? Uh, 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 I feel Childish like, Gambino. That would be a good look. I feel like Wale could have been on that one. I feel like it's, I feel like it's, it's a couple <coughs> people that that could have did okay on that. But yeah, that, it well, definitely Wale not popping. So he not. Nah, we, shut up. We're not, we're not, we're not gonna do that. Not we're not doing that. Why Wale like, not popping? He's not popping. Bro, so he we're not, we're not gonna do that because you know Wale my guy. We're not, about, <laughs> we're not about to do it. We're not about to do it. Hey, look, he's not, not popping. We're not about to do it. <laughs> All right, he needed. He a hater for real. He needed to be up here, bro. But he right. he right up here. Low key scroll, yeah. low key scrolling. Low key scrolling. Yeah, yeah. Uh, jealous. The Joe Chris Brown, Wayne, and Big Shine. I like it, but it's not that good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y
Drake. A culture vulture. No, no, and that right. nigga better sit his ass down when the game come on tonight. No, no, no. Drake the damn right, goat. So. Goat, man. You got too many goddamn hey, goats, man. Hey, look, 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 all right, so <laughs> high, higher was cool. Nipsey and John Legend, phenomenal. Of track. course, of course. Uh, don't take my soul. I feel like CeeLo Green should use a different tone of voice for that hook. Other than that, it's a phenomenal song. Um, was it a storm? Meek Mill, Lil Baby, Lil Baby should have been on that song. And okay, Lil Baby, I'm, that's not the baby, right? right. All right, I keep getting the. I feel like I ain't getting this far in the album. Yeah, was it, a, was it a storm? I feel like it's a good story, and it's like it's a lit track, and then Lil Baby comes on, and he's telling his story, but it makes the, the energy's going down. Yeah. So I feel like you should. I don't know. Um, maybe Ross. Is my phone fucking ringing? It is. That sound like an Android. What did it say? Scam likely. Mm, sound uh, like an Android. Yeah, it's a seven seven. No, no, that's the area code. Eh? Hey man, down that shit. <laughs> I thought I put my bitch on silent. Man, uh, uh, big boy talk with GZA and Ross. Um, I would love to hear uh, Gotti on that beat, and I thought I'd been dope if Future did dope. Uh. Freaking you and Wayne and Gunner. That is my shit. I feel like Wayne should have did the whole song. Gunner shouldn't have been on it. I agree. Y'all, y'all like Gunner? Um, Gunner. On certain tracks. No, but, but who's Gunner? Who's Gunner? Well, give me a song. Give me a song. Is that Gunner? the guy that always rap with Gunner. Lil Baby? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, I like his energy, not my type of guy. Like, yeah. I'm, 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 re- I'm literally moving away from Atlanta, yeah. Atlanta artists. Yeah. I'm literally moving away from Atlanta artists. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like Freaking You could have been Wayne all the way. Or that could have been a good song for Big Sean. I feel like I feel like that could have been cool. Um, Top Off is trash. I thought it was trash when it came out. No Brainer is just part two of the last shit he did. Also trash. Thank you, Big Sean. It's cool. Hold up. Uh, his... no, hold up. No Brainer? Trash? Yes. What's, what's that? What's that? That's uh, a joke with Justin Bieber, Chance. And I don't want to fucking hear Justin Bieber. Yo, I don't want to fucking... that shit. It's oh, my God. God. The reason, the reason, the reason, let me explain. The reason I say it's trash is because he literally went and got, grabbed the same niggas from his last big single. Which was what? The one? Yes. And I'm going to tell you this. This is just the one part. This is two. <laughs> this is why That's I word, say, though. yo. And this is why I don't, I don't like you. No. Fuck that. Oh, uh, don't. I think, yo, uh, Justin you. Bieber's fucking it's, trash. Yeah, I, think, I think, thank, thank you. Was, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you was cool. And, thank um, you was cool? As a Big Sean fan, just cool? Nigga, it's hot outside. You want, you want, you want that? Like, is Big that going to you off? Thank you was cool. <laughs> yeah. so I said what I said. <laughs> Big Sean flow on autopilot, bro. He need to, like, come with some hungry shit, like. He doing that same flow that he fucked. But he from movie. Detroit. What niggas from Detroit have never? De- niggas from Detroit have never switched up their style, and it's been successful for Detroit niggas. Facts. Yeah, but they ain't the industry but, right now. You but but, but the thing is, industry niggas is not really like popping right now. Yeah, they the are. In- oh God, I forgot who I was talking yeah, to. Yeah, they are, bro. They popping, bro. Okay. Right. That might be about. popping for a second, but they popping. Yeah. So so. That's how I feel about that. So with 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 with. The Khaled album, what would you give it? Hey, you got another one of these, John? Um, oh, no. I'll give it a, I'll it's give it a seven out of ten. And let's say, Poe, is it a mouthpiece over there? It like is one right by the rings. You see, you see the case of rings? Yeah. All right, right beside it, on the right side. Right, in, right side of the rings. Nigga, I don't see shit. No, no I'm saying, do you see a mouthpiece? Left no. side now. Left side, left side. Hey, where can I get one of these from? That's yours, bro. Uh, I think I got some more. I'm not sure what I was doing. My hands is on it. It looks like somebody's mouth fit on it. No, for real? There's some moisture in that bitch. Nah, that's cool. Nah. <laughs> I, I got a little crack on my shit. So I'm just, uh, it's all good, just Yeah, keep it in there. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, I'll give, um, it, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. All right. Now, um, you said you didn't finish Tyler the Creator's album. Right. I just want to touch on it a little bit because he produced a whole motherfucking album. And me personally, I'm not a core fan of Tyler Creator. I'm not a big fan of Tyler Creator. But I like what he did with this album, as in he pretty much was just like, this is not your average Tyler Creator album. Right. Just listen to it. Don't do shit. Just listen to it. Just get on the road and listen to All it. Right, well, let me say this to because you said you didn't like his last album before that. Uh, what was that? Color Boy? I mean, not Color Boy. Uh, Flower Boy. Yeah. yeah. The same mindset that you went into listening to this one, do that with the last one. Because you said you couldn't get into it. 
For the same amount of say you want to listen to the new one, go listen to the old one. Okay, I'll do that. You know, I'm down to it. And it's also open my, my okay. horizon. Um, what was I saying? Yo, so did, y'all heard that Jaden Smith album, right? Yeah. Which one? The uh, one, the, the latest one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, Icon. No, the no, name no, of no, it? no. Oh, fi- uh, hyper, fire, fire, hyper. Nigga, what? What? What's the name of it? It's like spelled weird. It's like H Y. I don't fuck. I can't remember. Nigga, what? Is, is you that, got the phone, my nigga. Is that the type of vibes with that Tyler John? Um, no. Not no, this, I feel like this album was more like a. For the love you I feel like it was more like a. Uh, what's the other dude from uh, Our Future? The, the singing nigga. Uh, Frank, Frank Ocean. Ocean. I felt like this was a Frank Ocean okay. album. Okay, cool. I felt like he took this and just produced a lot of shit and was like, you know what? I'm going to play with this because I'm bored. And he was like, you know what? I actually like this. It was cool. I like. I think he judged off his production. Not what he said on records. That nigga the production Frank, was great. That nigga Frank is a goat too, bro. Oh my god, this nigga here with all these goddamn goats. That's a lot of goats out here, bro. No, it should be one goat. No, 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 I see. <laughs> no, you have legends? <laughs> <laughs> There's so many avenues, bro. It's just like niggas just goats, bro. Bo asked me a question earlier. I'm gonna answer it, but I want you to ask it to him. I don't know you asked me a few. <laughs> you you asked me about the 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 legends of oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. so if you're from the newer artists, no, I say newer, I'm talking about going back to Double XL freshman cover of ten. That's okay. Nipsey, Sean, Cole, Wiz, all of me. So going back to them, to the rappers we have now, do you see any potential legends in there? And who? As far as which, as far as the ones now? Like out of all of them right there, who do you think have potential to be legends? Now, are we talking like one hit wonders? Hold on, hold on. Or so, are we talking no, no. about so, that can continue so, to, so, so, to so put that they put in the game? That 10 cover. I had that 10 cover. It was okay, okay, from then all the way to now. Oh, yeah. Who, 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 so Man, 20, years from, to 20 years from now, who gonna be, who, who like, oh, that nigga be a legend. I see him being a legend. Well, Wiz is already a legend. Wiz is, uh, is he okay? And I'm, yeah, I'm gonna let you get off. Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah, yeah. when you say Wiz, because I fuck with Wiz, but I wasn't fucking with Wiz when you was fucking with Wiz. Yeah, you I remember? Was fucking, I was fucking you were with fucking Wiz with Wiz very heavy, and I remember riding with you, uh, fucking hour lunch, and I was like, "Yo, I don't smoke. Get this pothead nigga out of here." Like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. To put on some lows. You remember yeah, me? Yeah, 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 yeah fucking yeah, with yeah. you, right? Nah, fact. Put on some Cassie. Put on some Wayne. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. So I, I, I have to admit that. Over the years, I've come to enjoy Wiz and appreciate his craft and everything that he's done yeah. and that he does. So, do you feel he's a legend? Yeah, oh, I understand legend, but is he that? What, what's the word I'm looking for? Under uh, uh, oh shit, what's pioneer. the word? Pioneer, huh? Pioneer. Okay, but that's not the word I was looking for. Is he <laughs> underrated legend? Is no. he? A, not to you. He's not an underrated legend. Nowhere no. along the line. Hell no. I would uh, say an underrated legend will actually be like a Cole, bro. Ooh. I'm underrated? I'm going to be honest with you. I feel I'm Cole like, underrated, though. I would say he underrated. But uh, that, I'm, that's I'm just say, the way he, how he moved, though. Like, no, I, I would say for underrated legend, I would, if, if Nip hadn't passed, he would have been an underrated legend. Yeah, but the thing is, is like with Nip... See, I was fucking with him. He did that. Uh, I remember when he did that Rihanna, Run This Town. Yeah. yeah. The street song lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That joke like that. But, like, the thing about Nip, it's like, his death put people on more. Right. And it's uh, it's sad that it go like that, but his, his death put people on more. But, like, honestly, I'm going I'm to tell you the truth. Honestly, with me, like, his in-depth interviews and the stuff that I've learned, like, from, you know, watching everything that people post now. It's like I won't catching that shit when he's dropping. I won't catching that. I was catching this. I was catching his music, but I won't catching. You won't catching the, 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 the movement. That, them, yeah, them gems that he was dropping. Yeah. I won't catching that shit. And see, I was. That's the thing. It was like, okay, and that's why everybody come to me and be like, "Yo, you fuck with Nip," even though you fuck with YG. I tell you straight up, Nip is a better rapper than YG. Oh yeah. But YG music hit me differently. I don't fuck with YG. Hey, yo, hold on, bro. What's up? 
Yeah. Oh, no, 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 it does that have to do with the first song that came out and that it just left a bad taste Actually, I'm pretty sure he fell in love with the first song. Actually, he loved Tootin' and Booty. Actually, that shit was the first song, he loved that shit. the first song that came out, I felt like it was so much bigger than YG and Ty Dolla Sign that I didn't even care, like, I didn't even care to know really who YG was. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't understand that. I can like, it. it was so much. Like, I didn't, like, the way, even the way he was rapping, he don't sound the same. Man, you this know? nigga crip, bro. He don't sound the this same. This nigga crip, bro. He don't sound, he but the crip. thing, the thing <laughs> about YG, it's like, he just, I don't know, man. It's just something about the way, gangster, man. the way he flow. It don't, man, he not dark. manifesting nothing into in my dark. life. Like, Yo, that nigga. That nigga. Now, have you listened to any of YG albums? I listen to, I listen to pretty much all of them. And you feel like YG? I, I think I, but see, I know where he's coming from because he likes more mainstream. And me personally, I don't feel YG's mainstream he whatsoever. Main, he mainstream. He he kind of he pretty much mainstream. But the thing Which, about okay, out of the West Coast, who could you compare YG to that you probably feel the same way towards? Like, do you would you consider him a Snoop? Like, do you not fuck? Hell no. no. Okay, so who do you consider him a Ice Cube? I consider him in more. Way. And I'm, I'm I'm asking from his perspective of just all right because it's not okay. You said you don't fuck with YG. I'm hoping you on that bullshit. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm not on that bullshit. I'm. I'm you just don't fuck with YG. I just don't. He don't. He don't. He don't cut like his his lyrics don't resonate. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? They don't resonate. Like when I look at an artist, bro, I look at I look at pretty much their their talent off the gate. Hey, bro, I want to fight you, bro. I look at I'll be back, bro. I look at what sets them apart from everybody else. And then also they grind. You know what I mean? What? Like what what they What? what yes, are bro? They? 400 gear? I'm Nigga, you dressed like you 400 gear. No, 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 no. This is SG, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me, let me say this though. Oh, everything you just said. I this comes from somebody who hated YG. I hated YG with the two little booty kind of that shit's trash. Well, he was on the Double Tell Freshman cover. I thought his shit was trash. When his album came out, I was like, well, let me listen to it. I listened to it. I want you to think about it in this perspective. Go back and listen to his first album and then listen to Kendrick's um, Good Kid, Mad City. Okay. I've, and I think to somebody, it was like, what they thought about it, was like, it's crazy. I feel like those two albums run parallel to each other. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like it's literally the same story, but Kendrick was the guy that wasn't the blood. He was in the crib. He was he was in the car mm-hmm. with the bloods. But like YG was the blood that was running the niggas' houses. Cause literally, literally you hear Kendrick say, "Oh, we did the boot boot niggas in the crib." Da da da. You hear YG say, "Yeah, I got locked up for running the niggas' crib." Like, and you, you listen to both albums, they run parallel to each other. And I feel like it might open you up a little bit differently on that. I mean, the thing about Man, YG, you don't fuck with Kendrick. I'm saying, 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 I'm don't well, fuck I, with the West Coast, man. He an Atlanta guy. I fuck, I the only fuck. nigga he fuck with is with Tiger. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> Hey, look. I don't fuck with Tiger no more. But I used to fuck with Tiger hard, bro. <laughs> I, I, used fuck, I used to fuck with Tiger hard. I, but I fell the, off and I fuck with Tiger That song, too. West Coast, with YG, uh, Blueface, and Jeezy. And YG fucked that song up, bro. What? He fucked Hold up. on, what song? He, he, hold on, hold on. What, it's called what? West Coast. You're crazy, bro. No, he. I'm talking about when I say he fucked that up, he he got the best verse. Oh, okay. All right. You know I'm about, but that's what I'm saying. But he was neck and neck with Blueface. Nigga, what? Yeah. No, nah. He was neck and neck. Bro, Blueface can, bring energy. You get the fuck out of here. I can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't, hey, look. I can't tell you. I can't tell you what YG said, but I can tell you what Blueface said. Be, you, but you, you see what I'm saying. Who got to go? <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's the energy you like. He liked it. And this whole shot at you. a pack code. But. <laughs> Hey bro, that's that shit trash. That, that shit. Hit. Have you ever had more bitches than a pet goat, nigga? That shit's real. Like when you got them like that, you know what I mean? But it just depends on what you. I can't believe I got a YG hater in my presence. Hey, but it's bro, all man. good. And, and we on the uh, and and this on the bullshit. All that bullshit. Also, you know what I'm saying, bro? Even while Tudor and Booty was like going up, it was a whole. Free YG campaign going on. He was locked up. You can't say his grinding crazy. The fact he YG yeah, YG being YG the thug down nigga. He got four hundred and Barney's. The clothing line is in Barney's money. Yeah, uh, but see, wait, time out. We gotta go back. That shit, but see, it's sold out of Barney's. It's sold out. Like no, it's, uh, it's sold out. Hey, bro, Niggas is wearing you, it. They shit. His shit was supposed to be in Zoomies. Yeah. And I go to the mall 
to check to see for the 400 gear. I'm not going to lie. And the thing is, like, how he wasn't catching up on, on Nipsey, I feel that's where he's going to be. Now, at the end of the I, day, I, I feel gonna I like, fuck I like, with that nigga YG. I like, I like 400. I like his gear. I like his shades. You know what I'm saying? I like, <laughs> I like the way he put that shit together. You got What's to that on that bullshit? Top, top damn shit. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with all that shit. Like, it do, it do kind of remind me of the shit I'm doing. You know what I mean? But, like, as far as his rapping, bro. I fuck with it, man. He you tripping, I mean? tripping. You know but I mean? you continue, uh, continue back to his fucking question. Um, yeah, other yeah. legends that you feel like oh, from the 2010 cover? Well, not let not, not just just from, from, from now on. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Just oh. who can be the legends as the niggas that you feel are legends now? Like, well, well, well in the past, who are your legends that like in now, today's now, general genre? Legend twenty one. I 21? fuck with 21. I fuck with 21. 21. Will be a legend. Legend. I, I think 21 will be a legend. 21 is a legend. Yeah, not a legend. I, I Definitely a pioneer, bro. I never thought about it. I'm Definitely 20. a pioneer. 21 is a legend. Every time he hop on a track, it's like, shit, stop, bro. Thanks. Nice. Gotta listen to that shit. You know what I mean? Uh, I would say, I would say, uh, Cardi. Cardi definitely gonna be a legend. That shit, that shit self made. And that's all just personality. Um, she broke it so good, right? Cause she gotta be a legend. I'm, I'm really waiting to see because this nigga's on a high wave right now. Um, the baby, he, he's on a high wave right now. I'm gonna say, but if, if, if I the, just got on his shit. But, but, but even, like, even if the baby falls off, he's already a staple in North Carolina. Yeah, that's facts. But that's that's us. You know what I'm saying? No, I, say, I, say, I, I say that because, bro, what last year? I'm in New York. I'm filming, a, I'm filming a show. I know some niggas about to hit the stage. Yeah, first thing they say is Petey Pablo. Niggas say something about Petey Pablo. Hey, yo, don't sleep on Petey. No, but listen. <laughs> how long ago was Petey's run? That was 97. <laughs> I don't know. I need the baby. This I don't think it was 97. I think it was, it was 2000. But here's but here my thing, though. I feel like now, let's say if I go do that exact same thing in New York now, they're not going to say Petey Pablo. They're going to say the baby. Cause the crazy thing is, I'm like, yeah. why the fuck they said P. Pablo and not Cole? Facts. But see, the but thing when, is, it, when it comes with that energy, energy he was in New York. Yeah. The thing is, when that nigga moved, he he moved his shit. He the thing with J. Cole is just right? the fact that he's from North Carolina. That's it. But his craft, his sound is not North Carolina. It's but, New but, York. But, but, but let me just say that. Let me just, so I feel like I do the exact same thing now. They're not gonna say P. D. Pablo. They're gonna say the baby. Yeah. But I mean, so with that being said, is he gonna be a legend from now? What Petey Pablo was up until the baby's run is what he's gonna be up until we get the next nigga. And I'm gonna say, I, no, I say that not even the next nigga because he's opening the floodgates for niggas to come behind him. And then, and then, and, 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 and if niggas really follow up like they supposed to, they coming. The baby will definitely be like pioneer, pioneer legendary yeah. status to open up the door. Yeah. For, I'm trying to think of who else. I don't know that 21, but she was Savage song. That shit was weak. Who? That was the best one. That shit was weak. That was one of his biggest hits, though. Yeah, that shit was weak. That shit was weak. But the thing about the baby. Think about this, though. How many people, like, as soon as they really start catching wind and then drop another project, got two projects on the Hot 100 Billboard? Yeah, that's facts, but how... He on his way, though. I don't agree with that concept. Because no, that's, here's, here's, that's here's, what your boy uh, Fetty Wap was but no, doing. But no, here's the thing, though. The baby drops fairly frequent. Yes. Not not super frequent, but he drops fairly frequent. But, would you, but, he, but he was ahead. already promoting. For, but a lot of people drop every year. Some people drop every year. So by the time he dropped the new shit, the other shit was already popping. Was, was, was already last year. Yeah. But by the time he started promoting the new shit, that's when the old shit started popping, started popping outside of North Carolina. Yep. But do you so, feel so, that so, 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 so should he just stop? Yes, yeah. because I, that's just me. I feel like he should chill. But no, here's the thing. I'm saying shit, like I, that now he can chill. But I'm saying I wouldn't have stopped. Oh, yeah. Stop rolling out my neck project because my neck when the last one started popping. Because now, now he just got his sugar is his biggest song now. <laughs> that that shit, shit had me. That shit hit me sometimes. Yo, that shit, come on, bro. That shit had me. The thing about it, it grew on me because when that shit first came out, I said it was trash. I we both sat here and said that whole thing. We said that shit was trash. Most of his shit be like gimmicky. 
it's, it's, it's so know, simple. It's, I don't it's, feel like it's a lot of thing, though. I don't feel like it's two chain. I feel like it's one not the guys that I say. I feel like it's not guilty because I feel like it's actually him. Yeah, yeah, I see. But the only thing about the baby is he don't remind me of a North Carolina nigga. Like, for what? S- he don't act like a North Carolina nigga to me. Like, he don't. Who that way? Who that way? Do I don't yeah. know, man. He act like somebody from like Texas or something. Like, he don't really act like a North Carolina nigga to me. Like, so who? I, I, I don't like know. Like, I so just the J Cole. Twenty one. Like- 21 remind me of a nigga from the south side, bro, <laughs> that you see all the time that was getting kicked out. Bro, that's what we remind me of. Like, I ain't gonna front. 21 remind me of a Raleigh nigga. I, feel you, I know I feel the you. baby ain't from the Raleigh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know he's from Charlotte. I don't really know how people act in Charlotte. Man, but you know, okay, my experience from I mean, Charlotte, Charlotte got, and nobody got, from Charlotte. You got, you got Stunner come right behind him with, in, from Salisbury. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. that nigga act like he ain't never had shit before. Yeah, I don't think like he know a lot of niggas. You know YMB Corday? What am I saying it right? Yeah, he he kind of nice with it. You know where he from, right? Where he from? That nigga from Zebulon. Say he, word. He, 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 that nigga's from Zebulon. I'm like, I don't know if you ever seen that little nigga before. I seen I've him, seen that yeah, little nigga. He kind of got hair like you. Yeah, yeah but no, I'm saying like when he was younger, like like we from the Nightdale area. Okay. So I'm saying you probably seen that nigga before. I ain't seen, bro. I that nigga's from Zebulon. That shit. But he ended up moving to uh, Maryland. Okay. And he's representing DMV, but he's getting noticed for com- from being from North Carolina. But the nigga right. from Zebulon. Right. Yeah. All right. So you answered the, the the legend question. Okay. Um. Break it down again. My bad. My bad. I know. I, I was thinking about it, and <laughs> it's in my mind. But all right. So from that 2010 cover on him now, who do you think got potential to be legends? Well, you already know Cole. You already know Kendrick. Uh, Wiz. I forgot about Kendrick. He, um, a, he, a, he a legend, bro. I like to find sleepers, man. Somebody that's just doing something like low-key. And I, I think the person that's on my mind is Travis Scott. But the thing is with Travis, I think he's going to run out of momentum. No, no. He's doing entirely too much. No. 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 I, I say, know I say no. need an offseason. Just like basketball, but listen, niggas need to drop their album and don't do no features, don't do shit until. I disagree. But Travis, do, you, do you think Wayne running out of momentum or did he just got, he just got held up? Wait, 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 what we talking about? We talking about mixtape era, Wayne? Because no, I'm, talking about, mixtape, I'm talking about Wayne in general. Before, do you think he ran out of momentum or he just I, got held up because I of the album? I think he got a, a focus. That held, that held up works for him. That hold up worked for him. Even though no, I said no, 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 how long? Look how much he was doing within his run. His peak. Check, exactly. So check me out. The Carter Five hold up actually helped Wayne. Wayne came out and said he's about to drop another album. Mm-hmm. Everybody here is going to listen to it no matter what. But the Carter Five was trash. It was outdated. Not the Carter Five. Huh? Not the Barter Five. Yeah. Get the fuck hey, out of here. Hey, that shit. No, it was the Barter Six, I bet. Hey, hey, somebody look, get this. hey, look. Whose man is this? Hey, bro, man? that shit. I don't listen to that shit on the way here, bro. You I, need to eject hey, that look. shit and, like, frisbee that Hey, bitch. who put on Young Dolph, though? We don't listen to that nigga. I don't listen to him either. But, <laughs> uh, but that, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no credit. That nigga no, on, bro. no. Um, put that nigga on, but bro. but what was I saying? Shit. Um, the Carter, the Carter Five, or Carter Six. What number are we on? He's on the five. Okay, yeah. Carter Five. It was outdated. I think Wayne learned from that. It wasn't a mistake. It happened because we all know he was held up on like legal shit. We understand that. But this shit that comes out next is going to hit home. It's going. But my my point was, I feel like Travis Scott is not doing nearly as much as Wayne was at his peak. I'm and just tired of look, hearing this nigga on everything. That, and that's you. <laughs> that's you though. So to the Travis fans and for Travis family that's getting that no raking it in, they gonna keep going, nigga. For real, honestly, Travis gonna keep giving. Tell somebody coming to him, he gonna give it. Cause like the Shell's Homework Q album, shit, is, that that hook is trash. But niggas want that sound. I'm I'm gonna run with it. But that's what I'm saying. I will take his production. I don't want to hear this. He got he got he got so many. Throw away shit, bro. He don't get. I, I swear to God, he don't get Scuba Q a throw away. Yeah. He don't. He don't get Pusha T a throw away. He don't. He don't get goddamn. Uh, who, he don't get Wiz a throw away. I'm gonna tell you when I really got on the Travis. Like when he was coming out with his stuff at first, uh, like you know days before the rodeo and all that stuff. Like I mean before then. Yeah, like I I seen that Love Sick video, 
And they was talking about how he like, you know, how he got started and stuff like that. And that jump was cool, but he sounded like Kanye. He did. And sounded that's like Kanye. But that goes back to what I'm saying, bro. I yeah. don't want to hear a copycat. No, but, but, like, he's he's a, I feel, but here's, here's the thing, though. I feel like anybody, when they first start doing music, they're going to sound something like the person they look up to. Yeah. Now, let's you break that down. Wait, wait, wait. Talk about. So, let, 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 me finish, let me finish. Go ahead, but I want to go yeah, back to that statement. So, if he, so, if one of his biggest influences is Kanye, he's like, okay, now I got, I, I know I can sound like, bro, how do I make it my own? And that's where he, now, so is now. Is shit ringing again? Hey, yo, let me get that shit. I got to put that shit on the side. That Android shit, man. Hey, yo, fuck you. Who the fuck is this? Where my shit on silent? Make sure I answer. What the fuck? Hey yo, my phone is on silent, bro. Man, fuck you. I'll be back later. They're gonna be hearing that shit like I was calling this nigga. He said, "Fuck me." Bro, he gonna text you sooner than my motherfucker. You sooner than me. Hey, I ain't really. When I really started fucking with Travis Scott is when I um seen him spaz in the studio on that Meat Mill shit. Oh, no. really, uh, when he spazzed yeah, on that shit, on. you know what I'm talking about? On the Dream Chasers jump. Nah, bro. <laughs> you don't remember that? I don't fuck with. He Travis. Don't, he don't like Travis. Like, no, it's not. I don't Travis. like Travis. I just don't fuck with him. It's not. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, he, he also don't fuck with Cuddy, who's also a legend. I fucking hate that nigga. You ain't, you ain't hear that. You ain't hear that kid see ghost though. Shit was trash. What? Out of the seven project shit, that shit was the worst. What? Out of the seven project Kanye West theory production, nah, nah, that nah, shit nah, was nah, the nah. fucking worst. I don't know. That bro, shit bro, was bro. ass. That shit was under the rug. And okay, I know okay, niggas yeah, out there like press you book. Fuck that. I'm that shit was under real. the rug though, bro. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah, was the worst to me, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, bro. What? See? What? No, no, no. What? No. What? I take that back. Kissy Ghost was Nas the worst. Was worst. Nas was Nas, if anything, was the best. Oh, I take Nas. Nas I, was, I, 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 it was second best. It was second best. Pusha, Nas. That's it. I don't want to hear nobody else. sound good on those beats. It was Jay. Nah. Then Pusha. But Nas still was Nas, though. No, no. I'm saying, as a cool, he's a, I'm, I'm not listening to that album because he doesn't sound good on those beats. Fucking, uh, where else? Was, oh, another motherfucking legend. I, I have to give this guy his props and his credit. Uh, Childish Gambino. Childish Gambino. He would definitely be a legend. And but the thing is, it's no. not gonna be a hip hop. No, no. It's not gonna be a hip hop. It's gonna be in that 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 category they put music soul child. They, that that category, that's where he's gonna end up. With him dropping no. that out. Not even. What? Not a legend. Not even, bro. Why you not? don't fuck no, with Childish? No, 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 yeah, why, no, why, no. why would you say no? I just yeah. You fuck with everybody in in, in, in uh Childish Gambino camp. You fuck with everybody in there. You can't know, from, 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 from being a comedian to being a rapper, singer, songwriter, um, producing shows. Uh, He's not, he not going to be a legend? He going to be a legend as far as his... his I'm talking life. about him as a person. Oh, not, yeah, not, yeah. not in rap. Not in rap. I'm talking about... Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's going to be in that caliber that they put music so Okay, so let's, let's get something a little, little bit more. Let, let, let's do some of the, the, the newer niggas. Who, who do you think any of those going to be legends? Man, I don't see it, bro. Um, I'm, I'm trying... Shit. Jaden? I, I, like, I think Jaden will be a legend. I think Jaden? I think, uh, think Wabi and Corday got potential. He does, but I need more from him. I, I need Potential. More. I agree with you, but I'm saying yeah, I yeah, we got from him. We definitely we gotta see it. Um, I'm what? trying to think of these little niggas. If 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 your boy get out his weird old shit and fucking rap, who? Yachty? No, not Yachty. Oh, no, whoa, Yachty. Whoa, whoa. no. Speaking of time hey, out, time oh, out. Oh, not oh, Yachty. Hey. Not Yachty. What's the other guy? The the one from I think he from Philly. Uzi. That nigga. If he get out his weird old fucking shit and fucking rap and make music. He has the fucking potential, and I'm, I'm gonna like, say your boy. I'm gonna say your boy with the, the uh from from Miami, from Florida. Did oh, Curry? That nigga nice, but actually I think. Ski so nice? No, the nigga with Man. the red hair. Ah, he from Ohio. I apologize. Oh, Trippy Red. Trippy Red. If oh, Trippy, I can't, if, I can't if, fuck with Trippy. Like if that. these niggas get out of this weirdo shit, these niggas can okay. do something. Yeah, I want to. I want to. I want to. Uh, se- I'm, I'm fucking. I want to segue into something we were talking about earlier. Okay. With the Uzi shit though. Yeah. Uzi is somebody who can flawlessly go from one thing to another. With that being said, because Philly knows him for rapping. The shit that the world know him for, 
He wasn't doing that before. Right. That you no, know, he got his name from rapping fast. It's like he raps like a Uzi. Yeah. He like that nigga raps. Right. So I feel like Dude, he even has background vocals singing on Tyler's album. Yeah, who he coming out of? No, I mean, let's be keeping the fuck. Keep it the He has background vocals on Tyler's album singing. You don't when even you, know. When you first found out about Uzi. On Tyler's album that you telling me to listen yeah, to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you, when He's singing on that Uzi. shit. When you first um, found out. Actually, he put me on the Uzi. I, I had to actually listen to something that he's actually rapping on. So they took me, he, he took me back to, like, yo, the nigga, he gave me the same rundown he's giving everybody right yeah. now. He can really rap and he can't. He, you can tell he's Wayne inspired. That's so, so this is what I found out about Uzi when I seen him in uh, the Yeezy, Yeezy season photo shoot. I seen him in that. Was that 16? That was, no, that was, uh, I want to say about 14. This before, this before he, this before he popped. This boy, he like really popped. He was in the Yeezy season photo shoot, and then I found out about him when he was on that uh, on that shit with Thug on Slime season. Yeah, he's late, brother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he's late, brother. But I'm saying, I'm saying like, no, I feel you. I'm saying like he had the he had the um, what was it the uh, Love Is Rage jump? Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? He had that jump, but it won't it won't bug him like that. It was. It like, is, but anybody who is a, who is an Uzi fan, I lie mm-hmm. to you not. If you go in and say and, and say something about Love Is Rage, you're like that's his, that's his, one of his best projects. Yeah, but well, this had just like started coming out. It ain't really pop. Yeah, that came out in fifteen. Yeah, yeah. Like it ain't really. It started popping like after that photo shoot. Mm-hmm. Like, but um, like I said, I feel like he's gonna be one of those guys. As time changes, he can change with it. Him and Juice World actually. Earlier, you were talking about time changing. I'm about to just flip the script. Yo, we about to push an hour already. We are. And it really yeah, feels like we ain't talking about nah, shit. Nah, for real. Um, <laughs> I told I told we told you. We were like, yo, we ain't talking about shit. Um, so, I want to speak on uh, Wu-Tang Clan documentary. I ended up watching a four-part documentary on uh, Showtime. It was definitely dope. And me, I've never been, and I don't want nobody to beat me up in the comment section or anything, but I was never a big Wu-Tang fan. I listened to him because my uncle had him, you know what I'm saying? Right. Um, at the same time, the person that caught my ear was uh, Method Man. And uh, I say all this to say that the documentary is fucking good, but I want to bring up Method Man. And we were talking off scenes before we even popped up and before you got here, that Method Man is just timeless. He can jump into anything. Him, Snoop, and Fabulous. Yeah. So, my question that I popped off the poll was when it came down to uh, I don't know about uh, Fab. I don't uh, know about Fab. Not, not, what, do you, what do you mean you don't know about Fab? Know. Fab is in his own boat. Let me say this. Let me say this. I don't know about Look at me. Fab. Look. Fab. No, 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 no. We're not, we're not comparing them to each other. We're, we're saying they're, the, we're saying they're in the same boat. They can, they're they can, in the they, same boat. I don't think, no, no, no. They can hop on anything, and they can, they just so smooth, and okay. they make it look easy. I don't know about Fab. You can uh, take him out. No, you're no, crazy. You're crazy. But Method, Method is no, new. They can, crazy. they can pretty much show up. What's your beef with Fab? Crazy as shit. I love Fab. I love Fab. But we were just not in that boat. Dude, over that whole, everybody we just named in that boat. Fab is the only one, like I said earlier. That can knock out these underground tapes for the underground fans and have a hit every decade. Come that's on, facts. that's facts. facts. But Fab, Fab, he don't fit. What in is that Fab like? like? Jesse, no, he, he definitely, he definitely boat. does. Okay, definitely so does. we gonna get back to our conversation. Yeah, yeah. This nigga, he, 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 he don't, he don't, he. I'm not hey, saying hey, that he likes. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I hit it all the time. I was playing, but look, like Fab don't fit in that boat with Method and Snoop. Okay. Yeah, when, yeah. Well, okay. What we were saying was, I, I'm, not, I'm, when it came I'm, I'm to, taking Snoop out the boat. No. Whoa. I can't whoa. take Snoop out the boat. No, no, the, the reason I take Snoop out the whoa. boat is because of what we talked about earlier. We, when, we, when we said, we was like Fab, Thinking? when we said Fab and Meth, we was like, we can't really pick out any bad verses that they've had. Snoop done had some bad verses, bro. But, but it's rare that I, I can't even think of a bad Snoop verse. I can't. I Nipsey, can't. Nipsey remind me of a younger Snoop. That's facts, and I said that when I first, when I first, like way, way, way back. Nipsey is a better rapper than Snoop. He, he is it's a better lyricist. No, and, he's a better lyricist. But his, 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 flow, coming, his flow can't top Snoop's. And it, this is coming from somebody. If it wasn't for Snoop, I wouldn't be in hip hop like I am. The thing I, about I, I Snoop, I love Snoop to death. 
the thing about Snoop is him actually turning himself to a brand, bro. Like, I just said, remember, I just said earlier, I said, I never thought about it. It's it, it, like you look up and you see Snoop went from being the most gangster rapper to being the pimp rapper to the stoner Snoop rapper, and he did it without no, without nobody even noticing he was doing it. Snoop you just looked up like that. Yeah, he, he ain't genre. that no more. Snoop, That's the thing about Snoop has touched every genre. He nobody has. knows except for rock. I don't think he's touched rock. I'm I, that's that. the only genre he's touched. He done that. done gospel. He done done pop. He done done of course hip hop. He done done reggae. Mm. Like Snoop has done every fucking genre. Now back to the the, the conversation that we were having about uh, meth and fab was if the, like in in throughout their whole career, we know both of them can hop on a track and still hold their own and still kill it. But my question is, when when were was their prime? When was the best meth? When was the best fab? What years? The best fab was when he was dropping. I want to say that jump was around like I said, oh eight to two. No, nah, I would say I would say around oh, like oh four. Did y'all breathe? Hold on, I want to say around oh seven. When he was dropping the mixtape. So so tape came he said, out. He said eight. I said seven. I think yeah, so yeah. tape came out in like eleven, maybe ten. But this is my now, What's the name of the jump? Um, this is, this is, what I said was I said around oh eight, um, ten eleven ish. Cause that's when he had the commercial joints. He had to throw it in the bag, a couple joints with with the drink, right. some shit with with drink. But he also was dropping the soul tapes, and there's no competition. The, the, there's, there's no, no competition. competition yeah. Them shits. My favorite hard. shit was still. I was still. living by them shit. There, there's no, no competition. No, 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 I was living. I was living. No, my, 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 shit, my baby, shit was. Bro. I told you, my shit was. Uh, there's no competition. Death coming threes. Oh yeah, part yeah. three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meth, I was living by them shit. With meth, we, we, we came down to it and we was just like the fact that meth actually like, like, I think what we say, what, what did I say? I think I said 97 when, when him and Red did their thing. Yeah. And a lot of people sleep on Red, but what's that, the blackout? Yeah. What was that, what was that uh, vinyl that I just put on? The blackout, the blackout. right? That shit's fire. I like, actually, like, the crazy thing is, I like blackout too better. And that one, I, I want to say, 09. Wasn't that the one? Which one? Okay, did they have a soundtrack for How High Just Them? No, nobody else heard it. Or was that the Black? Black Blackout came around that same time. Okay. The, right. thing, the thing about Meth is I ain't really, really got into his. Oh, let, me, let me say this, music. man. Meth, the niggas kill me when I say it. Meth is in my top three favorite rappers. I'm nobody should kill you for that. And if they do, then I'm going to be holding you down like YG holding it down. When it go to, <laughs> when it go to like, influences and, like, Inspire and like people that re actually resonate with me. I go by Actually what I listen to while I was living it like you know sometimes sometimes like when it come out fresh like You could go back and do your research be like oh damn when pop dropped he was the hottest thing ever You know what I'm saying? You got something to say about pop bro? Pop is the goat. Oh, I'm about to say cuz I'm about to I'm about to pop. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, bro. <laughs> it's like whack whack. I don't know. Bro, here's the thing. Bro. <laughs> I don't trust his goat. He, he just said Pac is the goat after saying Lil B is the goat. Lil B is a goat. <laughs> hey, Lil B. I, I don't trust his goats, bro. Hey, the niggas, they eating pants and socks and shit. Hey. I don't trust his goats. Man, I don't trust him. The only reason why Pac cool with me is because he goats is eating hey, socks. The only reason why Pac is cool with me is because, like, oh, he cool my, my, my dad pushed that on me. You know exactly, what I mean? and that's, that's, I that's what it grow, is with me. I didn't, with me. I didn't grow up with pop. You see what I'm saying? I grew up with Hot Boys. You know what I'm saying? Big Timers. Master P. Fucking 50 Cent. Eminem. Goat. Goats. Like, these are people, you know what I'm saying? Eminem. When, if, I, if I went to the store with my mama and I was like, I want that album... That that's that's who you know resonate with me. I don't really people like oh yeah I fuck with KRS one nigga I want bored bro. But see the thing is, and hey, I, wait 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 because I, I, can, I can now this is probably why I always like was like man fuck them niggas niggas whack because I don't say music was forced on me yeah but Bone Thugs and Harmony, Heavy D, um, the KRS ones, the LL Cool J's I know all of that. Yeah, yeah, and I, I love it all. And for me, like, if we really sit down, like me, I want to sit down with myself and just break down my top 100 artists. Like, crazy thing, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I wouldn't be into Bone Thugs like that if it wasn't for him. He put me on Bone Thugs when I was, like, I'm not sure, 11, 12 years old. 
He put me on Bone Thugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was also at, at that age, that's when I was really getting into hip hop on my own. Right. And like I said, if it wasn't for Snoop, I wouldn't be in the hip hop like I am. Yeah. So literally, I think it was Fuse TV. Every weekend, they would play one artist all weekend. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. The takeover. Exactly. Yeah. They, they used to do Snoop and Pop all the time. Yeah. They doing Snoop, and I'm like, oh. and this is around this time, Drop Black and Hot is like the biggest shit out. I'm like, that's cool. I'm tired of hearing it. And now I'm like, oh, they got, I mean, I'm hearing murder was the case. All this, I'm like, this shit hard. Murder, yeah, yeah, yo. Yeah. That, so, so, so I go back to the mind. I go, this is my lime wire pop, and I'm giving the computer A's trying to get Snoop down. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, so, but uh, me downloading everything Snoop, that took me, that took me to Dre. That took me to NWA. That took me, and this is why, like, anybody yeah. asking, I'm, I'm a hip hop historian. Nigga, I, I'm side, all side. the way, like, that, that, I'm like, I knew in my life I want to do something with music. I didn't know what it was going to be. I, at one point, I wanted to be a beatboxer. That's why I, I was on Dougie Fresh, Slick Rick, like, uh, the beat? Fat Boys. I'm on, I was, bro, everything. Yeah. At one point, I wanted, to be, I wanted to be a like, DJ. I'm listening to every, if, it, if the song came out, I'm like, how many niggas did a freestyle of this shit? And I was like, bro, I used to have shit where I could put the freestyles together. Have one. I was a nigga in the, in the neighborhood that would have... One song that everybody thought was popular and knew just that one song, I'll have a 20 minute mix of that bitch because everybody did a freestyle to it. Everybody. <laughs> like, I, I was a nigga that was I, downloading the, the in the basement freestyles. Like, you put Snoop in the basement freestyle on, I know that shit word for word. <laughs> I, I gravitate to the people who more so change the culture. Like, who, who, Those actually niggas stupid, man, the culture? Who, who fuck up the culture, like, you oh, know what I'm saying? But see, that's like, that's one thing that I love about you, bro. Like, put it, put it to a different light. Like, when 50 came out, bro, and this is what I wanted to say, that gangster shit back. Now, talking about since we speaking on 50, I just want to say this, yeah, yo, 50, I'm trying to open up a bit of building, you know what I'm saying? Not bad, hey, yo, let me borrow some money. This nigga giving out money to everybody, goddamn. But no, on uh, hey, no. gang, bro, we need some money. I'll fuck with gang, <laughs> game straight. I just need more music from bro. He got it though. I know. I he got, he has it. a lot I of just, it. I just need it when them them shenanigans start coming in. Bro. Yeah, I, I just can't. I, 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 I can um, um no, nah, it was something I was gonna ask you. Fuck, and it was on my mind. I was like, I'm definitely gonna ask this nigga this shit. Um, it'll, hopefully it come back to me while we running. We had an hour and a six. Um, fuck, yo, you just the first time we've actually been like oh right on to point. With okay, you. so even though and okay, this is what I was gonna say. Even though I did not like what the fuck you were playing, it's crazy that you had an ear for it. Yeah. Because the niggas that you were literally like hype about that I literally did, I go to spots and they play their shit. And I'm like, yo, this shit was actually fucking fire. Yeah, this shit. This, yeah. I'm going to throw something out here. You're going to look at me crazy. I so, Soulja me. Boy got a song with a dude named Smokey Margello that sounded like A$AP Rocky. That shit fucking hard. And I hate Soulja Boy. And that song is so fucking but hard. But the thing is about Soulja Boy, I cannot knock his his push for everything that he's done. That nigga is definitely a legend in the game. That's somebody that definitely he's changed. Definitely, he's, 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 a, he's a legend for the he's a legend for the internet shit. And also I feel like a lot of people sleep on his production. Like for the fact that he still like might come out like Drake might come out with a song. Nobody even knows so would produce that shit. I went to my right. nigga DJ house. I remember I went to my nigga DJ house. Come on, come on. Wait, 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 wait. Before you get to that nigga DJ. I, because <laughs> I remember. you. I, I no. remember because I fuck with DJ. That's yeah. my nigga that he look like 50 Cent, right? Yep. Yo, on God, <laughs> on God. I remember this shit like it was yesterday, bro. We was in the cafeteria and shit. And that nigga was like, yo, this is the time 50 and Kanye both album dropped. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that nigga was just so hype. He was like, man... Fuck it, I'm gonna go get both of them. And I didn't say shit, I was just sitting back watching. Yeah. And I wasn't into Kanye. I didn't I was fucking with 50 because he was signed to shape. Right. That's the only reason I, I was fucking with, with Kanye because I didn't fuck with 50. Oh yeah, I was fucking <laughs> with Kanye. Because Kanye So that's why I'm about to ask you, which yeah. album did you buy? Because I took DJ route. Shout out DJ, bro. Hope everything good with homie. Um I did I definitely did not get the Curtis album. He had the I get money shit. That shit was dope. Trash. Bro. I I definitely I get money was fucking dope, but it's not, it's, it's always dope when you graduation. Copy it. It's graduation always dope. Fucking you can always staple. you can but always I'm both of them. Bro. I brought both of them. You can always make dope shit when you copy a Philly nigga. <laughs> True. Hey, that is like that. That what? Yeah. Hold right. On, what happened? That yeah. He he he. That's fucking facts, bro. Hold that on. What happened? I I, I, I get money is I'm a hustler. 
Go back and listen to the oh, piece. Oh, no, come, come on, Pretty much. 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 Pretty Flip that jump. So the whole, the whole, the whole. The whole so the are you a con? Is what you did this thing? Are you a fifty nigga now? Like who you, who you rock with? I'm still rocking with Yay because hey, bro, we got a box, bro. You know why I'm rocking <laughs> with Yay? <laughs> hey, look, fuck that nigga Kanye, man. I fuck, I fuck with Yay because it's still like the person that he is, bro. You just can't. You, you you don't have another one of those. Right? I'm, 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 I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest, man. Kanye, Kanye just I got one. I seen, Kanye, hey, I seen one. Have you ever seen somebody wear one? And you wanted to punch them niggas in the face? Have, no. Have you ever seen somebody wear one? Wait, 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 out, what? Like out in public. Where? Yo, what? I went ice wearing. skating. No bullshit. We went ice skating. Just be on some different shit, right? Yeah. And literally, I got offended, bro. I, like normally, shit don't fucking bother me. I ain't but I, I'm like I, I'm like I'm like ice skating and shit, trying not to fall. And I see this motherfucker do with a goddamn Make America well, Great shit. again. Why my, I feel I feel a lot in my job. I actually do. I, I, I only seen it one. I only seen it one time out in public. And when I, I, saw, I saw one shit, this I'm week. Like, oh shit! Like I saw one this week. This nigga actually got one of them shit sold. Like I'm like, what the fuck? I, I was like, it made you like, yo. I hope nobody whooped this nigga ass. I'm right? just like staring. Like every, it's like everything stopped. Everybody else with me. Just when like, I see somebody wear one, I I, I check the seat because I usually see it when I'm at work. I want to see how they gonna interact with me because I'm the only black person there. But the dude. <laughs> I was on. I was working on a food truck when I seen it, and I seen the dude. I'm like, well, he he came up to me, nice as hell. Like, oh my god, love your hair. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 that shit don't really bother me because it's like out of my control, bro. Like, you know, know what I mean? With your hair, bro. Like, you you do the yarn shit, or you got somebody to do the yarn shit? So like, I do the shit now. You know what I'm saying? My ex used to do that shit, but I just fucking snip snip. So I just do that shit myself. <laughs> Some different you shit. You gotta man. keep it moving, like, you know what I mean? But Yo, yeah. back to the Kanye shit, he did recently put out like a, a little saying that I actually kinda I thought about it a little bit. Everybody say Kanye is crazy, he's just that in the third. But everybody agrees that he makes great music, right? Yeah. He was like, yo, if I'm doing all of this crazy, great, outlandish music that y'all love so much, he's like, it might come from a crazy mind of a crazy person. Yeah. Like, kind of makes sense. <laughs> well, I ain't crazy because I don't fuck with that nigga like that. Fuck Kanye. <laughs> man, just to... Like, I feel like if you go back right now and listen to Yeezus, which I thought was trash when it came out, you go back, it, it might be a little bit before it's time. No, it just... No, it just sounds good. It sounds good. Like, I no lie, everything that I it, handed it, on back then, it sounds good now because everything we got now is pretty much trash. It was like, no, I'm saying because at that time, I feel like that was so left from what was going on. And then, like, you got so many other creators that was like, yo, I can see how he did it. Like, you can listen to Yeezus and not gonna, like, oh, not gonna listen to Weekend, like, oh, he kind of tweaked that from there. Right. You can listen to Travis, like, oh, he tweaked that from there. You can hear, like, different artists. And I, I will say that because Logic does a lot of Kanye, like, production. Yo, dude, Logic, Logic sounds like he picked apart. Which is, I don't fuck with Logic. Bro, hey, yo, get off. We bro, done. Logic, hey, Logic is a hey, yo, what's your boy? Corn. All the way, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Now, nowadays, logic he kind of is. Record, bro. Old Logic was the, was the guy. Logic, I'm now. not searching the web like, bro. Let me hear this. I, that, logic. Bro, I didn't so listen. you didn't hear the Logic and Jordan Lucas? I did. No, that shit's fire. I should like. Come yeah, on, I, I, here, here, like here's, here's my thing, though. Tyson, you, no, bro. you, you, you want to know, know why it wasn't as corny? Then he didn't say shit about race in that motherfucker. Exactly. I, I said and, and, and that and, is. is that's fucking, the main thing, right? He he's fucking he on another level. Bro. He, he gonna be a legend. He he gonna be a legend. I think he, Jor- I think Jordan is he going to be. Niggas. He does, he but it's not gonna life. be appreciated. And I think Jordan is gonna be a loss. I think he's gonna no. Away. no, no, no I didn't. No, no. I don't want it to happen. It's, 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 one, it's my thing. Jordan I feel is. like Jordan is gonna always go. Like when he, cause the way he approaches shit. He, the way he drops the videos for it, he knows how to make a moment. Most never question, did that. Now my question is that is, is Joyner better on other people's songs like Lotes, or is his music, his music by himself, really knocking on niggas' doors? No, I, I mean, I, 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 get, like, I get the, the, the joint where he was in the church. No, that, that most of everybody, most of his songs, the, 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 the most of his songs are concept songs. Exactly. So if you're looking for that. It's dope. 
But like when you just let him go off and rap, I give you the perfect gone. nigga. I give you the perfect nigga. Uh, you you fuck with the nigga. Got the bat the bat shit on his eye right here. Kid ain't. That's who that nigga joined up will be. Hell, hell no. no. Hell no. Kid ain't. No. Kid ain't was fucking fired. We not gonna. No, no, no. I, 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 I was rocking. I was rocking with like, Kid and, and, and then he had to. He fell off. He no, stopped working. No, what he did was he he made one big song and then recreated the same song a million times and everything was like I'm done with it. Yeah. I look at Joyner's, I, I, and I'm always sometimes right. I want the best for Joyner. I fuck with him. But I think Joyner Lucas is going to just, like. Right, let me say this, bro. When I say Joyner knows how to make a moment, like, he purposely dropped I'm Not Racist without with the white guy going first. Because he said he knew when people saw it, they going to think the white guy was rapping. Exactly. He, know how, he knew how to make a moment with the, uh, the joint with him in the church. Because he's in a church. With a Henny bottle. This, this like, I'm going to click on that. What the fuck are you talking about? He knows how to make a moment. Oh, the next thing he dropped was, you know, he got a shit with Lonnie. Ain't them niggas beefing? I'm going to click on it. Oh, yeah, shit with Eminem? That's M. I'm clicking on it. He, know, he knows how to strategically and do shit. His Most shit never did remind that. Me, his antics, the way he rapped and shit, he remind me of, like, the way M used to do. Yeah, he does. Like, he create pictures, bro. Like, he create, you know what I'm saying, a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of energy around his music to where it's like, yo... You it really makes gotta, that moment. You got my think, thing. Bro. Is, wait, time out. My thing is this with Jonah Lucas. This nigga got at least about three, four songs with Chris Brown. Daddy did nothing. Oh yeah. Name one artist that's done a song with Chris Brown and that song has done nothing. Lil Dicky did a song with Chris Brown and that shit is worldwide. That's what I'm saying. Like with Jonah Lucas, he can rap. We know. And, he and can you want to know why? Shout out, shout out Lil Dicky, man. You know, you, I, oh, I, you want to know Lil Dicky? That's also oh, Philly. That's also Dickie. Philly over here. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna talk he, about it. Well, <laughs> but hey, yeah, Philly in the building. <laughs> but no, um, I'm gonna say why I think it didn't go. Chris, everybody know when Chris is singing, it goes. He ain't sing on none of them tracks for real. Chris raps on niggas shit. If yeah. you hear Chris rap on a Rick Ross shit, that shit not gonna fly. But he's more likely he's gonna sing on it too. Huh? More likely he's gonna sing on it too. Chris he Cole. did. I thought he had one that we he was singing on. It was a, it was a, it was a, a poppyish song. It won't really like singing. It was he more cold, like though. who that? Chris Cole right now. He is. But my thing is, he ain't better than Trey songs. Fuck with him. Man. What's up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anything else, man? Yo, man, this oh. is probably the longest goddamn shit. Anything else? Shit, man. Hey, man, look. I got this luxury streetwear brand about to come out, bro. Man, hold on, man. Goddamn, he fucking up the movement and shit, the vibe and shit. Hey, yo. Anyways, man. That's, got, it. That's all I want to do. Hey, no, no, no. We're going to run it back to you. We're going to give you that little alley oop. You know. Don't want it. You don't, you don't want the alley-oop? in there. Look, you a Westbrook I, ass nigga. Yeah, look, you looking at me. Hey, no, no, no. Let them know where they can find you, though, for real, man. Uh, IG, SG Worldwide. It's lit. That's it. That's it. Me and my man about to go talk this business talk. We not going to put it on wax, but we about to go talk this business talk. That's Got my doing. boy Mario in the building. Hey, yo. Point at the camera. Just yeah. like, yo. Yeah. Hey, YouTube. Where the button at? It's going to be somewhere like around this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, point at the button. Right I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get it. Hold The bell. It's the bell. You know what I'm saying? You got hey, man, just tell them niggas to subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe. Bling. Get the notifications yeah, every, every time we drop, man. Bling. Hey, man, I hope y'all enjoy this joint. But we not done, Poe. Let them know. You know, follow me on IG at Poe underscore Vision. Also, man, check out the new Inner Vision episode, you know, uh, featuring Karma Kills, one of the illest battle rappers in North Carolina right now. It's the little bro. Hey, man, it's your boy, Trendsetter Press, man. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Um, check out the website, www.ondatbullshit.com. Speaking of that, I got to renew my LLC. Um, I would try to push this moment or whatever it is. Yo, get y'all motherfucking LLC. I don't give a fuck what it is. If y'all don't get it, I'm going to get it. We still the shit around this shit. So if it's a quote <laughs> you saying... If it's a saying you posting up on Instagram, if that shit ain't fucking LLC, if that shit ain't goddamn copyrighted, trends that are press taking it. And guess what? I sell it back to you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> other than that, man, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Trendsetter Press, man. We out. You heard me? Yeah.